hello everyone welcome back in today's tutorial on unix in today's tutorial we are going to see the important command in previous sessions you might have seen some important commands in today's session we'll see some more interesting commands which are can be used on daily purpose for coding purpose so let's start there are a few manipulating uh, if, if you want to manipulate data there are some commands which can be used during Unix programming. The very first command is AWK. This is very uh, powerful command. With this AWK command, you can manipulate data in better and proper way. It actually used to for pattern scanning and processing language. The other command is CMP. It compares the content of two files. Suppose you have the two files and you want to compare the content, you can use the CMP command to compare it. Then the next command is COMM. It compresses the stored data. So if you have the high volume of data, like text files, and if you want to compress, then you can use COMM. Next useful command is cut. It can be used to cut the file and then you can use the paste command to paste on other location so cut is used to cuts the uh, the selected fields of each line of a file diff it differential file comparator to compare the files expand it expands the tab to spaces join it joins the files on the some common fields mm -hmm. so if you want to join a two files you can join those using join command then we have the Perl. It's a data ma manipulating language. It's a different language, but can be used as a command line. SCD, of course, this is also very strong as like AWK. It is a stream text editor to do the more uh, complex processing. Sort, it sorts the file data. This is a very straightforward command. You, if you want to sort the data in a file, you can use the sort command. Split, it, it is helpful to split a a large file into small files. You can split n number of times. There are some additional commands such as tr it translate the characters uniq report the re repeated lines in a file wc that is a word count lines and characters which we have seen in our previous tutorials also. vi is a VI text editor to edit the file. VIM it's open the VIM text editor. FMP simple text formatter. If you want to format a text, you can use FMT. Spell it checks the text for spelling error. So what are the internal dictionary it holds? It compares against that and check the spelling of uh, the content. I spell it checks the text for spelling errors it is quite similar to the spell emacs it's a gnu project emacs ex and edit it's a line editor if you want to edit a file there are some commands which are related to the compress files such as compress it compresses the file gun zip is a very important uh, zipping file utility it helps to uncompress gzip file. So there are a gzip which is very uh, has a very strong compressive algorithm. It can convert a gb file into like mb files. So it's it's a very strong utility that is gzip. And gun zip is to unzip the gzip file. Uncompress it helps to uncompress the file which are compressed using compress command. Unzip it lists test and extract compress file in a zip archive if you have the zip file you can unzip using unzip file unzip command zcat it cat a compress file zcmp it compresses the compressed file zdiff it compares the compressed file zmore file partial filter for crt viewing of compressed text so if you want to view the file which are compressed already you can use the zmore now in case sometimes 
we don't know the each command and what are its utility uh, what is its use so how can we get the information of such command so there are some command which will help us to get the help of each command and these are a p r o p o s it locates the commands by keyword lookup info it displays the command information page online man it displays the manual pages online what is it searches the what is database for complete word like what is or who uh, etc those are the utility commands l it is a g n o m e help viewer which will help us to give the additional information about commands there are some network communication related commands such as ftp which is normally used to transfer the files file transfer program rcp for the remote file copy r login for remote login rsh for remote shell tftp tribal file transfer program telnet which you you might have used several times it's a it makes the terminal connection to know to another host ssh it is a secure shell terminal or command connection so if you need the secure connection use the ssh scp secure shell remote for file copy sftp that is secure shell file transfer these are the network communication related commands message between users the commands which are associated associated with message between users are evolution that is gui mail handling tool on linux mail service or the mail command simple send or read mail mass program mesg it permits or denies the messages parcel send the files to another user pine it's a vdu based mail utility talk talk to another user write write messages to another user these are very rarely used but very important commands uh, i hope you are getting some idea these are very common uh, some of them are very common some of them are very rare but this all the list of the commands will help you during your programming so i recommend you guys to um, have a copy of this video with you so that whenever you want to see the commands you can easily pick this command and use it I hope you are enjoying the Unix tutorial. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. So today we have seen various types of commands. First we saw the manipulating data commands. Then we saw the compress file commands. Then we also saw the how to get the information about the commands. And then we saw the networking communication command and how to communicate between two users and what are the commands associated with it so those this is for today's session uh, i hope you are enjoying these tutorials definitely if you have any topic in your mind you can mention in the comment section or you can send me an email so that i can create video about it thank you for watching this video and uh, your comments your appreciation definitely help me to that actually it motivates me to create more videos so keep watching this space do not forget to subscribe my channel and have a wonderful time thank you bye bye